Well, hey there, everybody. It's The Matrix. How's it going? Hope you're doing well. It's been a while. I think we're long overdue for a voiceover, huh? What do you say? This painting was something of an abortion from the beginning. It uh, didn't initially turn out the way I wanted it to. It was, I had a vision, as I always start with a vision, but most of the time, all the time, it just goes off the rails, which is fine. But this one was sort of fighting me a little. But anyways, you'll see what I'm you'll see sort of what I'm saying. But I think I uh, I think I pulled it back in the end. But uh, and I taped off the edges. Now I realize you know you're using fluid paints. It's gonna get underneath the tape. I usually do my own sort of borders and edges in a unique sort of way so I always cover that up for the most part so it doesn't matter I'm just trying to keep the fluid portion of this painting somewhat corralled if you will and we're just hitting it with some black and white mixed up acrylic with nothing but water Till it has the consistency of heavy cream. That's what I go for. For all you curious, all you art nerds. I'm mixing it. And if, if I have some airbrush medium, I'll throw that in there. Because that's pretty much like liquid pigment. So it helps thin out the paints, but you don't lose any you know of, of the pigment pig pigment pigment like you do with um just using water because it's sort of diluting the uh paint so i use water but i prefer to add some uh airbrush medium which i generally use golden it's expensive so i haven't had any for a while <laughs> it's some of the the real good mediums are just so damn pricey uh, unfortunately and because I'm just uh, a crappy artist you know no I'm just kidding I'm not horrifically horrible and we're going for the poor here or whatever you want to call it I didn't put enough lines in. The more lines, like you saw me draw like pretty much an X, the more lines you put in, the obviously the added cell structure and you get more uh, unique shapes and figures and things like that. But this turned out cool. Actually, it has sort of like a, um, almost like a tornado sort of effect going on towards the left. I don't know about you guys. I don't know how your 2018 starting out. My, well, my 2017 was hands down one of the worst years of my life. A lot of, a lot of horrible negative stuff went down with me personally in 2017 on many 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 different levels personal business everything so 2017 was just i can't even begin to and nor do i want to even rehash it but anyways so i was looking forward like most you know all right screw it 2018 let's let's bring it this is my year 
Well, man, let me tell you, my year is starting out like ass. <laughs> it really is. I'm trying to stay positive, but <clears throat> yeah, it's uh, it's just been a lot of pressure and a lot of things going on personally, business wise, whatnot, you know. And uh, yeah, sometimes it's a bit much. Plus, you throw in my mental uh, illnesses. You know, I got severe depression, anxiety. It's uh, it's problematic. So we did the, we did the whole torture thing. Now, my new thing, I guess you can say, is just you know coming up with some kind of fluid painting, some cool, almost like a background, and then just hitting it with just this is one of my earlier ones i've kind of honed down my technique um so that's the other thing why this one was sort of an abortion in the beginning but you know i've gotten a good a good uh a bit of control on splashing the paint down and getting different shapes so that's what i was sort of going for in this one and it, it kind of just you know unfortunately went off the rails but <clears throat> but I don't know I've, I've gotten some compliments about that from people and some comments in regards to you know I do a real cool looking fluid painting and then I hit it with a you know a splash of color and um, it's I guess to some people it's fairly shocking so because I don't think anybody else is really doing it probably there is I'm not exactly breaking new ground over here I just do what I do and I enjoy it so see like this one I wasn't happy with it obviously so I said well let's just let's just drag let's just tip it you know that's the cool thing about what I love about creating paintings and just working with paint and and colors and things is even when you like try to do something it doesn't quite come out like you want especially this style of non-intellectual abstract art which is what it is which is what i do so you so in case to clear up any people's misconceptions out there this is non-intellectual abstract art and what that means is that i have no intellect and i create abstract art now that's not what it means i'm just being silly it means that there's no there's no like rhyme or reason to it there's no uh you know thought behind it there's some abstract art that you can look at it and go oh that's a person that's this that's that that's you know more intellectual abstract art this is not intellectual this is just some goofball in his basement listening to crazy wild techno and metal music and just throwing paint around that's what this is so And, but that's the fun part. So whereas I look at it like this is sort of an abortion painting. It's just like, <clears throat> or like even, I mean, some people probably don't like that term. But, uh, you know, another term, I guess, would be like a voodoo painting, like a voodoo canvas. Like it's just not doing what you want it to do. It's just fighting you. And it's just doing its own thing. And you're like, I'm going to throw this paint on here. And you're going to go just like this and you, you you in your mind you're like all right i'm i'm connected with this canvas and i'm i'm getting ready to drop this paint and it knows it knows right it knows exactly what i want to happen and then you do it and it's like a disobedient sub it's just like they're not you're like really why I thought we had a connection here. I thought we knew what was going on. So then I'm like, all right, cool. Well, I'm getting my X-Acto blade and I'm gonna start slicing you up. You're gonna feel it now, canvas. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm like, I'm grabbing my X-Acto. I'm gonna scratch you up because you didn't do what I wanted you to do. Pretty crazy, huh? You ever, you ever think like that for any artists out there watching this? <clears throat> I do, I get it in my head, like, I become one with the canvas, and it is going to do my bidding, because that's its job, and sometimes it doesn't, so then, you know, 
We just have to attack it. Why do you think I take the torch to it? There's, it's twofold. I put, I put the torch to the canvas, number one, because when I mix my paints, I use mini uh, whisks, you know, like you do when you're baking and cooking, like a whisk, but these are small ones. I use those to mix the paint, and I do so much mixing because I'm so p picky about consistencies that I whip a ton of air into them. So it kind of works good when you're trying to create cells, but the reason for the torch is to kill the, obviously to pop all the bubbles, because I'm not going to sit here and blow on it, because I don't want to distort what I've done, but it's to kill the bubbles, and more, moreover, it's letting that canvas know who's boss. I'm, I'm, I'm throwing, I'm, I'm lighting its ass on fire. Or its stomach, or whatever, however you look at it. I, I'm not, let's not get crazy now. So, <clears throat> yeah. So that's, you know, it's like a threefold, I guess. You know, it works good for cells when you're going for cellular uh, creations and evolutions. You know, these, this was just like, it didn't, it didn't turn out like I wanted or obviously how I truly envisioned it. But again, this is one of the first paintings I did like this. I'm just now getting the video out. <laughs> I'm so out of order with videos. You guys are seeing stuff that I did last week and then you're seeing something I did two months ago. I apologize, I've been all over the place. Um, so okay, so here's what happened. So this is what I do in case for those those art nerds out there that are into this kind of stuff So anyways, and I've done this on numerous paintings. I'm not numerous, but a handful Whereas all right, so I obviously I pulled the, the tape off and that's what I'm left with and The paint actually didn't run out run underneath the tape as much as I thought it might and so then this is the, this is the scary part because then I got to tape off the center so I can create my border. So this is when I have like a super sharp exacto and precision because <laughs> I'm trying to line it up. And yeah, as you can see, I kind of inch the tape in a little bit so I can overlap it. Um, but even if I don't overlap it, I got another technique I do. Um, to kind of cover up any gaps or seams but but you have to cut you know you have to cut the tape uh, in the beginning so and then I throw another layer on just to protect the center so in case I get heavy handed with this big ass brush and that's exactly what this brush is called it's a big ass brush it's a gigantic brush but I love my big brushes I like everything big. So, and you know, I just go along and dab paint on it. That's it. I mean, it's it's nothing crazy, but you get you can get some really cool uh, three dimensional, you know, tidal waves and stuff. And you know, I mix a couple colors, and I don't know. It's, bo it's I think to me, it's it it adds, of course, some dynamic and some texture. And I've told people, a lot of the paintings I've done, and they have significant texture and, and, and depth and height and stuff, I, I encourage people to touch my painting. Some people are like, no, no. I go, because you know damn well. You're looking at that going, I want to know what that feels like. Even if it's, you know, pa you know, paint that's raised up or whatever. You know damn well you want to touch it, so go ahead and touch it. I varnish my stuff. I'm not worried about your DNA. So I encourage people to fondle my paintings. You can fondle them, but just don't sexually molest them. Don't pull a Harvey Weinstein on them. So we're adding some color. You know, obviously we're going black and red and white and all that jazz. But we're hitting it with some, uh, some red, some black. So yeah, 2018 is just sucking, man. I don't know how you guys are doing. I hope you're doing better than me. You know, it sucks. I run a, I have a primary business, and around now it's tax season, and that always bums me out because, you know, 
I just I hate paying taxes. I think it's unfair. It's unjust. And they certainly don't utilize the taxes I give, the money I give them back for anything that I would even remotely consider it. All our money goes to the damn support the frickin' war and shit, and that ain't benefiting us no how. All those people building those tanks and those guns, those are the ones getting rich off of this stuff. Well, I'm just getting poor, paying more tax and bullshit. Anyways, I don't want to get into no political crap, because I really don't get into political crap, to be honest with you. I simply don't care. So, I don't wait till this dries. I learned my lesson a long time ago. When acrylic paint dries, acrylic paint's virtually plastic. That's pretty much what it is. So, if you let it dry, and then go to pull your tape off, there's a good possibility, and it's happened to me, where you're going to peel chunks of your paint off, especially when you put it on thick like I did. So... I don't wait till it dries. I when I do borders and things like that, I pull it off right then and there. So here's the other technique I'm doing, where this is soft body Liquitex. Liquitex comes in, you know, soft body. You have hard body, and this is soft body. So this is soft body paint. Basically, what I do is I just create a bead around because you know from where the tape came off and that there's probably a little like 16th of an inch gap or what you know where you can see the the difference so then i just i like to use two colors and i'll take um you know a black and in this case a black and a red and just put them right next to each other and then i just simply take a my one of them, i have numerous exacto blades i take the one that i use for this technique because I use the same one and I just do this. Watch. Shrunk. 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 I'm making sound effects for you. Shrunk. Shrunk. No, but I just drag it back and forth and create like this kind of spiky color. And you see how it pulls the colors into one another. And it just gives it this cool, like, uh, like, you know, it brings it both together. You know, it brings the painting and the border sort of together and just caps it off really nice. So I hope you guys think that's cool. Uh, I do. And I just thought of it one day and it just, I've done it on a couple paintings and it just works out really well. I did one where I had to do it black and silver and it just looks awesome. But it's time consuming and you're trying to be, you know, somewhat precise, but not really. It's a lot more random than it is precise. But I'm also trying to be consistent with the strokes so it looks like it was meant to be and not just a bunch of strokes. I'm drinking green ginger tea with a little bit of honey. I love green tea. What's your favorite beverage? Comment below. What's your favorite beverage? I'm a tea. I'm a tea snob. A pure tea snob. I get the loose leaf teas. I got all kinds of different teas. I'm an absolute tea snob. I get. I've gone to Tavana. I go online. I buy exotic crap. I got hardcore like matcha from like the Japanese uh, hillsides and things. Yeah, I'm a total tea snob. I'll spend money on tea. Freaking tea. But, yeah, so, big deal. There's nothing wrong with that. Who doesn't like a cup of tea? Especially at night. It's uh, like almost 9 o'clock. Uh, what the hell is today? The 29th. I'm doing this. Because I'm just now getting around to it. So it's time consuming, you just flip it around. I don't think I sped this up, I think I kept this normal speed. So you could just see. I mean, you get the idea. You know what I'm trying to do here. I forget what I'm gonna call this one too. By now, you can tell. I think failure is an option or something like that. Cause this one was just, I don't know. But now you look at it. Hold on, I gotta turn around and look at it. It's kind of got a lot of character now. Like once it, 
like I said, when you start it and it doesn't quite do what you want, and then you get mad at it, and you know, and you just you get out the tools, you know, you got your palette knives and whatever. I like to use Exactos and uh, my torch. You know, I got a couple bu uh, bu butane butane is that propane bu butane propane. I don't know. You know those torchy things. I just call it torch. Uh, so I used the torch and, you know, scald it up a little, burn it up a little. I don't burn it too bad, but I definitely try to show the canvas who's boss. I don't know how you guys think about it when you're doing something. I mean, maybe if you're painting, like, you know, a horse or something, you're being a little more delicate. But when you're doing the kind of painting, if you want to call it that, what I do... Yeah, it's a little more aggressive and a little more anger-fueled and anger-filled because as I'm not much of an angry person anymore, I'm sure as hell jaded in my older years, older age. I will admit to that. I'm extremely vain and I'm extremely uh, jaded. And you wouldn't think I'm extremely vain because I got this crazy beard now, but believe me, I am. This beard has as this this beard should tell you more about how I've been feeling lately than anything else. If you've seen photos, if you're on like my Instagram or whatever, I tend to post photos there. Oh and yeah, that's the other thing I wanted to tell y'all is that <clears throat> as far as social media goes. I'm on Instagram, and that's about it. Sometimes I'll pop on Twitter. I'm just letting y'all know, but I my two go-tos is YouTube and Instagram. I'm I'm not on Facebook, and I I kind of hate all that stuff. I mean, you know, you know, we're all about embracing the Matrix, and we know what it's about. But man, I can't stand the onslaught of ads. Like what pisses me off, and I'm sure you feel the same, is like. You go to an online store and you're looking, you know, you're just, you're window shopping, you know, online. You're checking stuff out and you click on it and you look at it. And then next thing you know, you just go to Facebook and in the right corner, it's like, hey, here's those tampons you were looking at. Don't you want to buy these tampons? Or, hey, here's that guitar you were peeping at. Don't you want to buy this guitar? Come click on this. Musician's friend, ah, buy the guitar. You know, and it's just, the, I hate that ghosting haunting stuff and it happens a lot on facebook that's why i stay off facebook and it's just that weird like we're watching you kind of big brother we know what you like and i don't know i get it i know what they're trying to do i just don't like it i think it's creepy and i think it just makes me feel uneasy so yeah i don't like that whole ghosty stuff that goes on so <clears throat> but i'm at uh I don't, I don't know what my Instagram is offhand. I'll be honest with you. I think it's Embrace Matrix. No, it's Embrace the Matrix Art, I think. I don't know. Go to my website, EmbraceTheMatrixArt.com. And my Instagram's there. My YouTube's there. Well, hell, you're watching this on YouTube. So you, you should be hitting subscribe, I hope. Um, and also, I want to know, y'all dig these voiceovers? I, I, you know, Obviously, my uh, subscriber base has grown, and I just wonder if you guys like to hear me talk over these paintings and tell you a little bit about how I do and maybe a little bit about what's going on in my world over here uh, in, the, in the Midwest, the horrible, horrible Midwest. That's Ohio for you uh, unaware or foreign or out of the country. I got a lot of... A lot of uh, international support which I love I love hearing from the French and all over the place I seem to hear from more French people than anything else which I think is totally cool but yeah the matrix is hanging in there people let me tell you it's been rough it's going rough my depression and anxiety are really kicking the shit out of me lately and I just been pretty down in the dumps but uh so don't don't be surprised if the videos tend to come out a little sparingly my creative process even in the studio has been really not good so i haven't been creating paintings up to up to par that i even want to show you guys and in fact i've painted over quite a few lately and even that's 
I have my own thought process on that process uh, as well. But anywho, we're around, we're coming up to the end of this one. I hope you all appreciate hanging in there for like 25 minutes or so. I know I appreciate it. You see, you tell me when you look at this at the end. <clears throat> and I would love, I wish you guys could see these in person because I'm telling you, video and photos, just don't do it. Don't, don't make, some of my stuff is like, all right, it's, it's cool. But then some of my stuff and the better part of it, I think, is just like, it's, you have to see it uh, in person because you can get real close to it. I mean, I take photos like this to show you guys some of the detail and things, but it's, you know, of course, See, look at that. I mean, don't you just want to lick that? That looks like it could be like apple licorice or something. Doesn't that sound good? Apple and licorice. But you see how it's kind of got that border? It's got that height difference. We fixed that with the, uh, the little spiky thing I do. Look at that. I love that shot. That's awesome. So doesn't that just look cool? Feel free to try it. Go ahead. Just makes for a nice connection of the border and uh, the painting. If you do it this way, I like to do it this way. It looks more like a mirror or a paint, or you know, looking through a window or something into some evilness. And here we go, bam! Yeah, not too bad. Well, hey guys, thanks for hanging in there. Listen to me rant. Let's get to 5,000. I want to give away a painting. It's going to be awesome. Thanks for watching. Be cool, everybody.